Parliament this afternoon began a two-day interpolation session. Lawmakers quizzing government officials mostly about economy-related issues, but also about the role of big Korean companies in the abuse of power scandal centered on President Park's longtime confidant, Choi soon shil The most attention was given to remarks from the acting president, Prime Minister Hwang Gyo-an. Our Ji Myung-gil has more from the National Assembly. Lawmakers fired questions at acting president and prime minister Hwang Yuan at Tuesday's parliamentary interpolation session. They wanted to know if the government has any plans to reform the conglomerates that are accused of colluding with the government in the Choi Soon-sil abuse of power scandal. 지금 우리가 다양하게 추진하고 있었던 대기업 집단의 개선 사항들 그리고 이번에 또 수사를 통해서 나오는 여러 문제들 이런 것들을 전체적으로 한번 판단을 할 필요가 있다고 생각합니다. The current investigation, which is being conducted by an independent council, is focused on determining the roles of President Park Geun-hye and her longtime confidant Choi Soon-sil, who is accused of forcing conglomerates to donate large sums of money to two government-linked foundations, Mida and K Sports. Lawmakers also asked about the Korean economy, which is expected to lose steam due to sluggish exports and a marked drop in domestic demand. Finance Minister Yu Il-ho said the government will likely downgrade its growth forecast for next year. We are projecting economic growth of 3 percent for next year, but our expectations may fall short due to risk factors in the second half. We will come up with contingency plans by the first quarter and plans to address the high unemployment rate. You said economic uncertainty has been rising due to the rate hike in the U.S., and he asked Parliament to support bills to help the economy. Lawmakers also asked about the potential economic and security risks that could arise with the incoming Trump administration. 한미 간의 모든 관계들은 정상적으로 잘 진행될 것으로 그렇게 알고 있고 자기들도 그렇게 협력을 하겠다라고 얘기를 했습니다. 이것을 비롯한 다양한 채널을 통해서 계속 어, 트럼프 당선인 측에도 이 한미 FTA의 긍정적인 측면 그걸 충분하게 설명을 함으로써 우리에 대한 인식이 바라, 아마 정상이 되고 그리고 양국의 무역이라든지 또 안보 분야의 협력이 흔들리지 않도록 그렇게 최선을 다하겠습니다. Trade Minister Chu Hyung-wan said he anticipates that the Trump administration will also create new business opportunities for both countries. Tuesday's session made news for a number of reasons, but the biggest was that acting president and prime minister Hwang said that he has no intention of running in next year's presidential election, putting to rest a rising question in Korea's political landscape. Jim Young-gil. Arirang News.